When I began my teaching career in 1994, computer lab time consisted of typing lessons and surviving the Oregon Trail. <laughs> Today, each student is issued their own laptop, and most students have cell phones they take everywhere with them. They can access information within seconds through vast networks of digital communication. Technology bridges geographical divides, uniting people from every corner of the world, fostering a global community. Because today's learners have instant access to information, traditional memorization of facts is less important and critical skills are vital. Today, I ask you to contemplate the following questions. What is the ultimate goal of education? And how do we meet the needs of today's students? You might be surprised to find out it has little to do with technology and everything to do with student engagement through experiential learning. Before we dive in, I want to give you a snapshot of my marine biology class which extends to a 30 mile radius from our school, thanks to the availability of a 14 passenger bus that we have access to daily. Marine biology students work with the Gulf of Maine Research Institute, Down East Institute, and the East Machias Aquatic Research Center. We tour facilities, we explore touch tanks, we participate in algae workshops, we learn about fish husbandry, we conduct rat crab research on local beaches. We share citizen science data projects. And we release thousands of salmon in our local river in hopes that a few might return to spawn. Biology students and club members work with Healthy Acadia, 4-H, Master Gardeners of Maine, the Machias Food Pantry, and local farms to plant, maintain, and harvest produce for the Washington Academy Community Garden. We participate in glean initiatives. We plant native seeds. We collect tick data. We construct paint and sell bee boxes to support pollinators and to engage in conservation practices. Through community partnerships, students collect data which enables them to understand the importance and relevance of their learning. They celebrate when the community garden donates over 1,600 pounds of fresh produce to the local food pantry. They celebrate when they hear back from scientists that they are in fact the first citizens to find the invasive Asian shore crab at Rope Bluff State Park. I provide these experiences beyond the traditional classroom because incorporating hands-on learning opportunities is crucial to increase student engagement and a sense of belonging. I fondly recall a group of students bonding over their love of music while working in the community garden. I think they might have been planting tomatoes. By the end of the semester, they had formed a band and they were actively seeking additional members. This is how we meet the needs of today's students. We provide a learning environment where students feel connected, challenged, and engaged. Despite technology's ability to connect us globally, many of our students today feel more isolated than ever before. Students want to learn, but their attention is diverted by a fierce competitor, their phones. If we are going to engage students and hook them into what we're teaching, we need to offer answers to questions that they often ask. Why is this important? And when am I ever going to use this in life? Students need to believe that their learning serves a greater purpose, and it is important. Therefore, the traditional method of simply presenting facts and assessing is obsolete. Today, what students need most is human connection and engagement with hands-on authentic learning opportunities, or as we say in marine biology, they need boots on the beach. Students need to be engaged in dynamic lessons and activities to give them opportunities to go out into the community and learn firsthand about nature, local industry, and all the working parts of the community. They need to connect theoretical concepts learned in the traditional classroom 
through real world applications that spark a passion for positive change when addressing issues like food insecurity or protecting endangered species. Students need to connect with community members and partners who are experts in their field and be introduced to potential career and volunteer opportunities. Students need to learn how to use technology to record, document, and share their knowledge and experiences. Students need to learn how to be responsible uh, citizens in the real and digital worlds, because those two are now connected. It is vital now more than ever that we teach students how to use technology responsibly. As educators, we must continuously revisit the question, what is the goal of education? We need to keep reminding ourselves that the ultimate goal of education is to help students become healthy, responsible community members, stewards of the environment, and lifelong learners. Hands-on experiential learning is the answer. So what do we need to do to make this happen? We need to make this happen for our digital age students. Educators, policymakers, and business members all have a role to play in changing the way we educate today's students. Educators, I encourage you to seek out mentors and say yes to professional development opportunities that encourage student engagement through experiential learning. Share what you are doing in the classroom with colleagues and be honest about what you and your students need that advocate for change. Reach out to local businesses, organizations to collaborate about what you can achieve together. Whenever possible, connect learning to nature and community. Business community members, you can connect with schools to support and say yes. When an educator contacts you, offer tours of your business, talk to students about your industry, discuss possible job opportunities, and consider apprenticeships and internships. Show students that there are local job opportunities within their community and help them see a future in Maine. Policymakers, you can support and elevate educators as experts who know the best way to meet the needs of students who walk into their classroom and acknowledge that those needs will look a little different every year. Change the standards and assessment systems to allow educators to make decisions about curriculum and funding so that equipment and resources can be purchased to support experiential learning. Together, we can strive to provide an opportunity for every student to experience the magic of learning by doing. We can nurture and inspire students to become healthy, active community members, lifelong learners, and stewards of the environment. These students are our future, and they are worth the investment. I invite you all to slip behind the wheel of the educational bus and take learning on the road.